Hey, hey, Brian Sensei here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to personalize the Microsoft Edge internet browser. Let's check it out. When you start Microsoft Edge, by default, you'll be taken to this main landing page, unless you change it later. So from this page, you can actually customize how this looks. If we go up here to the gear, we can customize how this page looks. Now, note that you need to be signed into the browser in order for these settings to stick. All right, so let's click on here. Now, the first thing you're gonna see is layout. Right now, I have it on the focused layout. Underneath that, we have our region and language setting. Under that, we have quick links. Now, we have an option here where we could turn off the quick links, and you could see those go away, or, Maybe you like the quick links and you want two rows. We can go ahead and turn that on and now we see two rows of my quick links. Additionally, you could put them at the very top of the browser. All right, so underneath that, we have show sponsored links. We can go ahead and turn these off if we do not wanna see sponsored links. Here we can edit the background. So if we wanted to spice it up a little, and have some nice photography in the background, we can go ahead and make those changes. You can also upload your own image. The next thing in here is custom theme. Go ahead and click on manage. This will take us to our theme settings, which we'll actually dig into here in a minute. Underneath that, we have our recent Bing searches. And these are shown directly under the search box here. You can see my recent search terms. This is another thing that you can turn off if you don't wanna be distracted by those. The greeting, the greeting is at the top left of the page. If you don't wanna see that, you can go ahead and turn that off and you can see it disappear there. Under that, we have the content options. Right now it's set to headings only. And here I can do a content visible setting, which means the content, which is the news and information, will show here at the top above the fold. Or you can do content partially visible, where we'll see some of the news and information. And then we have headings only and then content off completely. So this is what it looks when we completely turn off the content. Now we just have a very simple, focused browsing experience where we can start our keyword search. Now back up to the very top, I'm going to click layout again. Now I was on focused, that's the one that I prefer. You also can choose inspirational and you can see when we change this, it puts a nice image in the background and really provides some more visually stimulating experience. Underneath that, you can choose informational, which will keep the focus on the news and information that's coming up. And then custom will come into play once you start customizing all of the options down below. All right, but I like mine on focused, so I'm gonna go back to that. Okay, so those are the page settings for the start page of Microsoft Edge. Now let's look into some other personalization settings. I'm gonna go up here to the more menu, the three dots, and I'm going to go all the way down to settings. Okay, in here, we're going to go and take a look at appearance. Here we have some choices for the overall appearance. Perhaps you might like dark mode. You can go ahead and switch that to dark mode and back to light mode. Underneath that, we have some customized color themes. These will change the Chrome of the browser. And if we keep going down below, we're gonna see more options such as page zoom. So here you can set the zoom level if you're like me and you just need to give your eyes some support, you can actually boost this up and then this will stay no matter what website you're browsing, it will automatically zoom in to the setting that you set here. All right, then we have customize the toolbar. The toolbar is across the top here where your tabs will show up and your search boxes up here and other tools. Here you can turn off the tab actions menu or turn it back on. Down further we have show favorites bar, never, 
always or only on new tabs. So if I turn that on to always, you'll see now my favorites bar shows up here. I kind of like to put this on only on new tabs. That way it's not taking up any real estate on the website I'm viewing. Below that we have select which buttons to show on the toolbar. So the home button, if you don't want that on there, you can go ahead and just turn it off. The other thing you can do here is set the website address that the home button will link to. And we'll actually look at that in a minute over here under start home and new tabs. The forward button, show automatically or always show. Notice I don't have a forward button at the moment, but if I turn this on to always show, now I do have the forward button, but it's grayed out. Know that by showing it automatically, the forward button will actually show up when you have a page to forward to. All right, so here you can show your extension buttons, your favorite button, your collections button, etc. And so you have all these options to turn them on and off. This is nice because you might like certain tools such as the web capture button. And if you want that to remain at the top, you can go ahead and turn that on so that it's always one click away. Below that, we have context menus and some settings for that. And then we have customize browser. And then the final options here are fonts. So here you can select your font sizes and customize the font types that are used on web pages. All right, the next thing I wanna show you is the start home and new tabs. In here is where you can specify what page opens when you launch Microsoft Edge. It's set to the new tab page. Another option you have is to open tabs from the previous session. This means that let's say you had 12 different web pages open in 12 different tabs the last time you had Edge open. When you reopen it, those 12 tabs will automatically load for you. And then the third option is to open up a specific page or pages when you start the browser. To add pages, simply come over here to add a new page and type in or paste in the URL of the website. Click add. And now we have a specific website that will load when I start Edge. If I wanna add another website, I can go ahead and click add a new page again and add an additional website. All right, underneath that, we have the home button options. The home button is up here top left and you can decide again if you want to show or hide that, if you'd like to start in a new tab page or have a specific URL that it goes to. All right, the new tab page, you can customize your new tab page layout and content, which is really what we looked at earlier when we were modifying the page. But you can also get to those customizations here. Okay, the last thing I wanna show you in here is downloads. This is nice. Uh, I like to set a specific location for my downloads. So when you download something from the internet, right, like a file, maybe it's a PDF, you can specify where that file downloads by default. Right now the default is your downloads folder, but if you wanted to change that, you could come over here to change and you can select the document that you prefer. So now you'll see it goes to the Brian Sensei folder. Now I happen to like the downloads folder as my default, so I'm gonna go ahead and change that back. Another option you have when you download a file from the internet is you can have it prompt you and ask you where to save the file each and every time. This is nice if you are saving files in different locations. The next option is whether or not you want Office files to open in the browser or to open in the desktop. So if you open a file, say in an attachment, in an email, or someone sends you a link to a file, you can specify here if you would like it to open in the browser or if you would like to have it download and open in the desktop. And finally, we have show downloads menu when a download starts. This pops up in the top right corner. You'll see uh, a download notification. You can turn that off if you do not wish to see that pop up. All right, so those are some of the main personalization settings that come with Microsoft Edge. I hope you found this helpful. If there's something specific you wanna learn about, please let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, I'll see you on the next one.